I'm glad that the theme of your conference today is uh, building bricks. I know you've had a lot of workshops and a lot of wisdom uh, put out here. As you know, the government, which I have the honour to lead, has um, put a special relationship upon building relationships with these emerging and developing countries. And as part of um, that strategy, we've identified a number of issues and areas in the programme for government that we intend to focus on to strengthen that relationship. I'm glad to see, therefore, that the Irish tech industry is facilitating the development of technology that can be used to access these growth markets. Government has a commitment, and we've set out our stall very clearly, to get our country working again. My political philosophy for a number of years has been to say that by 2016, we want to demonstrate and prove that we are the best small country in the world in which to do business. That means changing structures, it means opening doors, it means opening gates to opportunity, it means listening to people, it means having decisiveness in government, clarity of the path ahead, uh, and allowing then for the ingenuity and the creativity and the imagination of our people to flourish. I don't believe that anybody can, um, can match us uh, in so many ways if we just get this right. And um, when I was in New York earlier on this year with um, President Clinton at the investment conference that he called, he said, when you look at Ireland, its demographics, its tax record, its technology position, its track record in terms of output and productivity, and its talent pool, these as a combination are very difficult to beat. Um, and for that reason, he said, that's the kind of country that people should be investing in. Uh, and we would agree with that, obviously. So we have focused on particular markets and specific sectors, including the ICT and the digital sector. We've been focusing on key markets like the European Union, like the US, but also developing strategies for Brazil, Russia, India and China. I joined the um, community of European leaders last March, having had the privilege of being elected as Taoiseach. And it was perfectly obvious to me, as a, as a newcomer to that group around the table, that the, the missing link, as it were, in the, in the conferences and in the, in the process of discussions around that table was the issue of, of real focus on growth, the potential of the single market, the potential of the digital market, uh, the copyright issues, and so much that could be done. And I'm glad at last that having had these discussions for so many months and that you're now having the process of a European summit on growth to be followed by others, I'm sure. Uh, and that's uh, an issue that is of enormous interest to us as a small country with the exporting tradition that we have. Other countries have shared that view, and I hope that this can be a real success given the difficult and uncertain economic constraints that apply in a number of countries of which you're well aware. The, uh, we've set up uh, an Export Trade Council, which is chaired by the Thánaiste, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Eamon um, Gilmore, and that's giving impetus to the work, and it works with the state agencies to emphasise this in respect of the, uh, of the BRIC countries. Enterprise Ireland has established a dedicated uh, high-growth markets unit in Dublin uh, to further drive the exporting activities of Irish-owned companies. And this year, there will be uh, ministerial-led Irish trade missions to each of the BRIC countries. Um, we were privileged to have Vice President Xi Jinping call here on his way back from America. When I met him in Dublin Castle, he extended an invitation to me as Taoiseach to go and visit China. I'd never been to China before, um, and uh, it was an, an honour to reciprocate that. I found it interesting that uh, in, the, in the few days I was there, we had access to the Vice President, to Premier Wing Jiabao, and to Mr Wu, who's the Chairman of the People's Party, and the Chinese government opened all of the doors uh, in terms of business, enterprise, investment here, export there uh, to us. There were 90 companies um, uh, with me on that occasion. Minister for Jobs and Innovation, Mr. Bruton, was out there also. They did sign contracts to the extent of 35 million. Um, you learn a lot in a few days. The numbers are staggering. 
have to create 27 million jobs a year, have 8 million graduates coming out of university, 250 million farmers want to leave the land and become employed in cities. Shanghai goes up by a half a million a year. The figures are staggering and the potential is mind-blowing. But it's not just about statistics for saying we want to invest in your country and you make things and we sell them and we all make money. There's a different cultural connection here. Chinese people are very like the Irish in many ways, they're very nationalistic, they're very family orientated, uh, and they want to know real depth in people. And that's why they look at this country uh, as one where they can consider a serious investment in and where they can consider a serious business to from Ireland in the sense of export uh, opportunities. Um, and what they, the question that was being asked repeatedly from the political process was, how do you build a sense of community in your country? Um, and we, we have at our disposal all of the potential to demonstrate that worldwide. 70 million of a diaspora having deep inside ourselves that innate understanding of how you deal with adversity and challenge and what it is to be a stranger in another person's country. Um, so from that perspective, those who were out from the legal profession, from the education profession, from the IT profession, software, financial services, agri-sector, the racing industry, all of them made a serious impression with their counterparts. And that's why we're now having serious interest being expressed in our country for investment in Ireland to Europe and all of that opportunity that exists. Uh, my message to the Premier and to the, to the Vice President was that this country is open for business um, and that we offer brand quality uh, and competence that will stand the test of any world standard. I was down this, in this, I'm in Aviva now, I was in Aviva this morning um, with Chagas, who were dealing with all of the uh, food companies, uh, land and sea, dealing with analysis, detail, research, innovation, and the potential in that sector is equally as strong as it exists here. I was in uh, EMC in Cork, in Cisco in Galway, in Google here in Dublin, in Amgen, so many of the so many of the companies dealing with communications in the IT sector are actually creating the future as we sit here. Um, and uh, it's, it's incredible the speed that it's moving at. And yet we offer potential to service some of the biggest countries in the world. And that's why the association with, um, with Russia, uh, China, India and Brazil is uh, so important for us. Um, and that's why in the, in the, um, in the recent in the budget, Minister made some small moves uh, to assist companies who are selling products and selling Ireland's uh, reputation abroad in these countries in terms of the facility and the opportunity for them to do that. We concluded a, a strategic partnership agreement with China, which is not given to every country, which is, which is, which is um, unique for smaller countries like ourselves, or, or certainly very few of them given out. And we intend to build on that relationship in a really big way uh, with working groups either side. And for one thing, if you are dealing with the Chinese, if you say you're going to do it, do it, because they like things to happen as you say they, as you say they would. Um, so what we want to do is maximize the opportunities for trade and for investment so that we can grow our own economy, get our own house in order for the time ahead. And that means that um, the international reputation and the standing of Ireland is... Um, something that's been very important. I have to say, when I went to America first as teacher, uh, I had to deal with, you know, opportunities in front of two and a half thousand Irish-American business and American business, who were always questioning, what are you doing? Why are you shifting position every, every time? What is the position about your corporate tax rate? Uh, and it took some time to get all of that together, and I'm happy that the initiative that all of the ministers were given has, uh, has been responded to in terms of international economic commentary and international political commentary and international business commentary. Now saying that country is moving in the right direction, admittedly through challenging waters, but they've got a clear fix on their target and they know what to do. And we've responded to that by, by focusing where we can on opening the doors for the environment uh, for business to be able to flourish and do business. And I know that I've repeated this on many occasions. We, I was down in the Department of Education an hour ago, 
presenting the Sean Lamas Awards to young people who are entrepreneurs and set up their little companies in the transition years and all of that. Now, 40 years ago today, Ireland voted for entry to the European Economic Community. And they made the point that Lamas, uh, in his in the time as Taoiseach, uh, looked out beyond the shores of Ireland to the potential that existed in the European Economic Community and beyond. And we have grown in those 40 years to a point where we are now a part of a global player. It is not about uh, Ireland anymore because the people who are competing for jobs in Bundoran are competing with Barcelona and they're competing with Budapest and they're competing with everywhere else. So we have to understand the change of mentality and culture that's here. But we actually offer enormous potential to service markets that we never even dreamed of. And the same applied in the United States where we now, uh, Irish companies, uh, employ over 100,000 people in the states across 50 states, and that's growing.